Okay, here's the tutorial for the photos. So um, here's that Johnston property I shot yesterday. Um, I've I've chose the file, the the shots that I like, and I've uh, sort of uploaded them and in, into Lightroom. So so what I've got is Lightroom Classic, um, which is different than the regular Lightroom. Um, I just like Lightroom Classic more, and I think it's more intuitive, and it's just what I've used. I'm used to. So I mean, some of these, but I mean, it's essentially the same. You've got your library, your develop tab, and shit, and uh, you said you've got experience with Lightroom anyway. So um, what I'll do, I'll start by, you know, selecting a photo I think is quite nicely exposed, like, um, and like what will be a good image to sort of copy the grade across to the rest of the images. One one that looks kind of, I'll go, I'll go for this one. So, um, I mean, first of all, I've got, um, I've got my presets here. So, 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 so here's your library, here's all your images. You select one and then you go over to the develop tab and then this is where you do your uh, modifications and stuff. Um, ex there's your exposures and color corrections, sharpening, sort of things like that. Lens correction, that's for straightening the transform bit. And then uh, this is for further cal color calibration. Um, <clears throat> so I've got Daniel Newcam sort of presets over here. Um, some of them are old, don't have like the lens correction in it, but I mean you you see all the different sort of tweaks I've got for like super yellow rooms and stuff like that. So here's like blue eyed in internal. Um, so I've got like here's an another. It's called the standard interior. I've, I've got pretty stupid names from to be honest, but here's like blue eyed internal. So usually for your camera, it adds a bit of blue. Um, to most images, some images might be too blue, might need some yellow and stuff, but that looks like usually I'll just hover over them and see which one I think sort of looks the best. Um, and then I'll just do sort of further tweaks here to get, get what I want. But I mean, you can see it start, I mean, maybe that's a little bit too blue, uh, maybe take a little bit of blue out of it, maybe a little bit too purple, uh, take a little bit of purple out of it. Um, and then I mean, if if it needs more like oomph, you can like boost the whites or something, uh, or the contrast. Um, texture just kind of adds a bit of sharpening, uh, to it, which can be quite nice. I mean, I should already have some sharpening, and by default, I've got the lens correction to like nine, but sometimes you need to tweak that. It's got a little bit of vignette, and uh, I need to get rid of that. It's a bit too much. Um, so I need to like update my preset. So. Um, I might update it after doing this just to show you how to save a preset. Um, I mean that's looking not too bad, I suppose. Um, well, if you need to brighten it, exposure to or less exposure, etc. Um, but that's what my preset has. Quite a lot of clarity added. Um, that kind of just gives it a little bit of a uh, a little bit more oomph to the image like sharpens things up and it makes things pop a little bit more and then sharpening I'll usually add a wee bit of sharpening so the default is 30 and just boost it to 40 sometimes sharpening I sharpen it more if the property is empty just to make the walls pop a little bit more especially if it looks a bit like a, a bland like colorless like walls and that so yeah th th that's what I'll do is I'll, I'll pick an image that Expose nicely, grade that, and then I'll target all the interiors if it's an interior that I've done. Right click the image that I've edited, develop settings, sync settings. Um, so when you're syncing the settings, you want to have things like the transform and the crop uh, ticked off. Because if you've straightened an image, it will apply those that straightening into all the other images, and it, it won't be correct. You've got to individually straighten the images. So synchronize, so that will apply it to everything. Um, and then, you know, you're far from finished here. Because then you kind of go room by room, do tweaks, and paste that across. So, I mean, we'll start with maybe this hallway image. It maybe looks a bit blue. It looks like it needs a bit of vignetting added here. Um, so, I mean, this is where, what I mean. Every image is different. You don't just copy the copy it onto all of them be like that the, you, you know what I mean you, you need to go image by image so here like that's getting rid of the, the sort of the vignette and um, maybe it needs to pop a little bit more might add a, a, 
a touch of white, a touch of like contrast, maybe brighten up a little bit more. It needs further lens correction. You can see it's a little bit curved, so I'll go down to distortion here. I've got a constraint crop ticked, which just because it, otherwise it would have like white bits at the side of the image, so it just so it looks a little bit more straight with the the fifteen. Um, color wise, uh, I mean some of these can be a little bit harsh. I don't think it needs much done to it. I mean you'll see that that's it set to zero. How green uh, slash warm it is, so it definitely needs that blue. Um, but yeah, it might just pop the clarity and texture up, make it just pop a little bit more. Um, I mean, you don't want too much, like that's too much contrast, you know, you just, you want it to look nice and sort of natural, like the natural colours and that, okay. Um, so I, th I think that's okay. So then I'll, I'll kind of just copy that to the rest of my hallway shots, because they should be similar exposed and sort of hope it's okay. Um, you know, not too bad. Maybe it needs a bit more colour, to be honest. It maybe looks a bit bland. So sometimes vibrancy and saturation just boost it a little bit. Uh, maybe let's take that little bit of purple away. Maybe do the same to this one then, actually. A bit of vibrancy, a bit of saturation. Just looks a bit bland, doesn't it? Uh, make that pop a little bit more with the whites. I mean, so, sometimes with the hallways, you might have a really dark, I mean, it looks fine here, but you might have a really dark room that you're looking into, like it's not getting any of the flash and stuff. So sometimes to balance that out, you can sort of reduce the contrast just to, to balance it a little bit more, but it's not much of a problem here. That looks fine. I mean, the curvature is maybe getting a bit too much on this image, so I'm just going to reduce the distortion uh, a little bit. Okay, um, how's that? Let's see, that looks a little green. So, so even if it, even copying across room by room, you still need to do image by image. I mean, that looks for some reason this one's a lot more green than the other ones. So, oh, sorry. So, to, to counter the green, you kind of add a bit of purple, but yeah, hallways tend to be some of the hardest ones to balance. The colors just look a little bit awkward here. Add in a, lo a little bit of blue, Maybe make it pop a little bit. Um, curvature wise it's, it's looking really curved at the edge here this looks straight though this looks a little bit curved so sometimes there's a balance in that you can't get everything um, completely straight so, so, so that takes a little bit of the curvature out of that bit but then this gets even more curved it's kind of just a balance in that I mean maybe that's as, as good as we're going to get it you know what I mean um Mm, see that, that, that? Why the fuck is that really curved? You know, uh, and that's so sort of straightened those bits up a little bit more. Ugh, yeah, we'll just go somewhere in the middle there. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. The shot still looks quite green. I don't know what it is. But then adding purple makes it look too purple. It's just one of those awkward images. Not too, I mean, this one's pretty straightforward, but here, I mean, it's a bit overexposed, so we're going to reduce the exposure. It looks a little flat, so add some colour. I might add a bit, sometimes a bit dehaze can help if it's a bit too flat. But you still want it to kind of pop a little bit. A little bit of contrast. It doesn't look too bad. Sometimes looking at it in, in the library, it's, it's, it can help like looking at a small image like because you're looking at a more concentrated spot like so it's looking at it there maybe, maybe looks a little bit too blue so but yeah there, there's no like we want all the shots to look warm or anything but what I like is it to look natural if it's if it's a white room like make it look white don't make it like so sort of warm and creamy it needs to be white so you just want the colors to be the natural sort of colors. So yeah, just go through, okay, those two look fine, maybe a little bit too much sharpening to be honest, I'll take a bit of sharpening out of it, there we go, just, just a little bit, same with this one then, okay, 
so the living room i mean this this is the one we started to grade i mean these look kind of i mean sometimes when you look at it again you might want to do a little bit too but it's, it's best to like come so yeah i'm still feeling this is a little flat a little colorless so i'm adding uh, some saturation and some vibrancy so i'm just going to repaste that grade across the living room shots so that's not too bad maybe a little bit purpley but not too bad and maybe a little bit cold but you know, we'll, we'll go with it. Uh, let me make this pop a little bit more, add some darks and some contrast. Again, this looks a little bit flat, so I mean, that that was my original uh, grade, so actually with the updated um, uh, vibrancy, I might just copy the living room grade to them again. Um, looks okay, I mean, so sometimes for white balance you can use this little dropper, um, and then target like a white a part of the image you know is meant to be white use i mean looking at that it's, it usually doesn't work some sometimes it's spot on so it is worth trying it sometimes but i mean if i target that that looks way too green a bit too warm uh, i think this image looks a little bit purple so i'm taking the purple out of it and uh, that's no, too too blue i mean i think we'll go with that um, and then I think it just needs to pop a little bit more. I know it's blowing out the window more, but I'm I'm looking at the room and it just looks like it needs to pop a little bit more. Uh, but not you know you don't want to go overkill with it. That's the thing. Um, maybe take a little bit of color out of it. Mm, something like that maybe. So then I'll just copy that to the rest of the room shots. Now here, that's popping way too much, getting a bit blown out a little bit. Um, so we'll kind of do some tweaks here. Uh, looks okay. See, this is a bit you might brighten up and kind of like Photoshop. So, I mean, I'll show you how to do that when we get to the Photoshop stuff. So, uh, yeah, so I'll copy this one to this one because I think... Yeah, still again, maybe it needs a little bit more brightness to it. But yeah, you can see this looks a, a bit dark, so you can maybe use a bit of contrast just to balance it a little bit more. Um, but I think that's something to sort in Photoshop. Um, so we have the kitchen, it looks a bit dreary, so again, maybe add some whites, brighten it up a little bit. Um, I mean, if the windows are getting a bit too blown out, you can take the highlights down. It's not too bad. Maybe a touch more blue. I mean, now it looks a bit too purple. So yeah, it's like a bit of a balancing act here. Take the purple out of it. Mm, you know, I think that's okay. So copy the kitchen ones to the kitchen. Not too bad. I mean, I, d I don't know what's going on he here where that this area is a bit green and stuff. Maybe I'll sort it in Photoshop, but you know, I'm uh, now I'm getting less these days. I'm less uh, trying to do less, to be honest. Sp spending too much time per photo, you know what I mean? So, I mean, we're getting a bit bright. Bit too bright with a flash here. I don't know if we've still got vignette in. Maybe take the vignette down a little bit because that's adding to. I mean, obviously, the flash is quite close to these areas, so we're getting a bit of flash here. But I mean, I can balance that in Photoshop, not really something to do in Lightroom. But taking the vignette in has certainly helped a little bit. So that's those. Uh, here's the bathroom, looks far too blue. But yeah, here's the white balance selector. Sometimes I'll try that, but then it just goes to yellow. Like, it's, it's not the best thing. I'm just going to take um, some blue out of it. But then it's getting a bit green, so I might want to increase the amount of purple. So, yeah, something like that looks more or less white. Um, I might just add some clarity or dehaze or something, make this features just a bit more sharper here just because it's all white the contrast maybe looks okay so we'll copy that to the other one 
did I copy the grade here? Yeah, okay. So, I mean, IX can be hard, uh, especially if they're dark, but this one isn't too bad. Just gonna make it pop a little bit more. Looks a little purple, so add a bit of green. Uh, yeah. Sometimes if, if you're unsure, like what, like if it needs to be, um, if it needs to be blue or warmer, you, you can set it back. You can set your temperature back to zero and have a look, just to get a perspective of what you've done to the image so far. So when I do that, it looks way too yellow. So. Um, but yeah, maybe like still a little bit too purple, a bit more green, make it pop a little bit more. Maybe a bit of contrast. I mean, that looks fine. You know, it looked fine before, but sometimes you just want to just add that little bit extra. Uh, looks a bit, just looks a bit dull again. So I'm just gonna add some whites, make it pop. Just up in the whites can can be good for. Just making it pop a little bit more. So yeah, that's not too bad. So so then we have the exteriors. So I've got, I mean, it looks pretty like a pretty fucking dull day. So I've got like a preset exterior dull day, exterior sunny. So I mean, I'll I'll go through kind of my exterior presets. I mean, that one looks like it still needs a bit more line correction, but uh, it's probably the nicer nicer of the three. So um. And this, this, see, this is an old preset. I don't have to sharpen it, and it's nice to sharpen it up a little bit. So I've got plus thirty sharpening. I'm changing that to eleven, uh, just because it was a little bit curved. Um, so it's not too bad. I don't know. I like to max downers to pop a little bit. Don't worry about the skies because you're replacing that anyway. So that doesn't look too. bad bad is it a bit purple or is it a bit green uh, maybe add a touch more purple um no I see it's too too warm maybe set that to minus yeah minus one looks okay uh, and then just you, you want it to be vibrant on near the external so I mean that's I mean, if you look at the difference between that and that, you know what I mean? It's, it's huge, yeah, especially on a dull day like this. So I still think it's maybe a little purple. Right, there we go. So now I'll just copy the external grade to all the externals. Should be more or less the same, but we need to check. So looks okay, looks okay. Go to the garden shots. Mm, maybe I'm going to tweak the garden ones a little bit. Uh, um, maybe a little bit too blue. These maybe need warmed up a little bit. Let me add some purple. And you can click between like that and see how it's looking. Make sure they're more or less the same. Mm, yeah, maybe something like that. Sometimes your greens can be a bit, a bit, like sometimes the greens of the camera can be a bit off. Uh, on a sunny day, they can look too yellow. That's where the calibration, you can sort of change the, change the, the how green, the, what the green looks like. But be careful, because when, when you change it, it will change like other colors. Like you see the build in there is getting a bit different colored as well. So you just want to be careful here and maybe make it, I mean, uh, let's have a look. So yeah, maybe that's a bit too yellowy green. So I'm just gonna add a tiny amount, a tiny amount, just to these little touches. So then I'll copy that across. Yeah, look, maybe it looks a little bit warm, but sometimes a bit of warmth in the externals is a good thing. You know what I mean? It makes it look like it's kind of warmer day. Um, darks maybe look a bit dark here, so. Just lift the blacks and the shadows, maybe a bit less contrast. Yeah, not too bad. And again, yeah, it looks fine. Maybe lift the shadows a little bit. So that's sort of the grade done to all the shots. So then, then I go through and just straighten everything. So just drag this to the transform bit 
um, vertical you like just goes for the verticals and tries to straighten them up so that usually does the job uh, auto I, I kind of click between auto and vertical and see which does the better job because sometimes auto does the better job so I actually think auto is doing a better job here um, sometimes it, it's just not going to be straight enough so you can use a uh, guided and what that does is you manually pick a couple verticals so like, I'll pick that side put the vertical up there and then I'll pick this side put the vertical up there and it will straighten it according to your verticals so that gives you another one to sort of see the difference what, what what's best but I'm actually think auto's doing a good job so I'm gonna leave it on auto so I'm just pressing right on my keyboard to go to the next image vertical looks good next one not gonna straighten this obviously because it's looking down the stairs and it'll you you want it see so this gives you a second chance to look at your images as well so sometimes when i'm straightening them i'll make further tweaks to the images like sometimes you look at it and you're like jesus that looks way too like something you know what i mean um so i think it's okay but the the, cur the curvature just looks off to me so maybe it needs more distortion and what it is like, yeah maybe that's a little bit better but it's crazy like sometimes you pop in the distortion up to like 20 to get the, the straights a bit more straight um maybe this one is a bit more as well vertical mm, you know it's, like i said it's a balancing act sometimes looking at one part of the image and changing the curvature makes another part of the image look a little bit off but you know, it's okay. Again, like I'm looking at that, it looks way too curved, but then the, the rest of it, it's just, I don't know what's that, what's going on with that shot. It's just not, not a great one for curvature. So straighten it, straighten it, it's more or less straight anyway. I see this looks a bit, I don't know, like bulbous, a bit bulby, I don't know, like a bit curved. So I'm just adding, uh, looking at it again, I'm ch changing the fucking distortion a bit, adding more lens correction. I mean, I, I don't know, the lens you've got, my lens, just tends to need a lot of distortion correction. Ah, so see, sometimes you might click auto and it, it zooms in and crops it a bit too much, so if that's the case, uh, I go up to this and uh, like see how much it's fucking cropped it. And then, uh, Jesus. I need to take that off. What the fuck is it done? Jesus. What? Now I've got these stupid white borders. Uh, constrained crop. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, sometimes you auto does some crazy stuff, gets confused. Try guided here, see how that does. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. Straighten this, looks okay. Leave an auto. Try this one. Oh, maybe doing a better job again. Again, this looks a little curved here, maybe. Might need a little bit more distortion. Like you can press Control and Z and then Control Shift and Z to see the change that you've made to see what's better, but that's definitely better with a bit more distortion. So just like it, just go through all these straight and straight and straight and. Wow, well, I don't know what it is for this shot. Maybe it's the vignette or something. That's uh, okay. Straighten. Mm, a bit more curvature, I think it needs. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's way off. It's, it's moments like these you want to use the guided sometimes because it's, it's getting confused. Like you can see like bits of wood here hanging like a slanted roof and stuff it can sometimes get confused uh, oh, it looks all right straight in maybe a bit too much color in this one let me just take it down a tad 
straighten this. There it goes. There it goes. Yep, not bad. So this one, I pop it on auto. That's fine. It's, can't really see much straights there. So then I'm gonna export them, and then I'll. Uh, I guess I'll do the Photoshop one in another video.